Thanks a lot for coming along. Uh, this is a presentation on layout paragraphs, a new way to manage paragraphs. Now, for those of you who know me, you probably know I'm a bit of a paragraphs nut. I seem to do a, a presentation on it at least uh, once a year, and uh, it's 2021, so it was time to, to roll out another, uh, another presentation. Um, so this will be a demo of the layout paragraphs module but it could also be called a brief history of layouts in Drupal. Uh, and so what I would like to do before I jump into the demo is just sort of share a few of the ups and downs of layouts and presentation and, and you know, how do we uh, get editors to build pages in Drupal. Just some of my experiences over the years, I've flip-flopped left and right pretty much every year. And I'm sure some of my experiences uh, align with with what uh, how you've been uh, feeling as well. So what I'll do is I'll I'll just jump in and just go through a few of the the basics of uh, layouts and and just my experiences. So I, yeah, I came to Drupal in round Drupal six, Drupal seven, and you know back in those days, you know you had PHP templates, you know rendering nodes. You had your data, you had your template, and you rendered it. It was very thema focused. It was kind of like a very pure approach, uh, and you know the thema knew what they wanted, and the thema um, got that. But the downside of it was that there was this very low editor control. It really was here: you have the design, you have the implementation, and that's it. The site builder and um, thema, the, the editor, really sort of played quite a low, uh, a low, small role uh, in this setup. Display suite was uh, an awesome module. Um, once again, it was thema focused, but it introduced the concept of layouts. It gave site builders uh, more options. And there were some sort of editor controls in there, but once again, very, very small. It really was uh, a themas tool. So that were just sort of some of the groundwork modules that were, you know, imp or approaches that were in place for, say, Drupal 7. Um, then, of course, we have panels and panelizer. I sort of came on to these a little bit late. I was sort of like always a little bit skeptical of panels. You know, some people turned their nose up at it. Some people really, uh, really, really liked it. Um, but yeah, I was, I was a convert once, uh, you know, I, I got into it. And I think that the real sort of breakthrough with panels was that it did try to open up things to site builders and a little bit to editors. So suddenly what you had was you had, you know, site builders working in a UI working with layouts uh, and, and different parts of the, the you know, the page and, and basically placing blocks what they, um, how they like. So the site builder really got a huge boost here. I've got powerful exclamation mark because, you know, panels had features then that I don't think we've still, we've really got now. I'm thinking about things like the access plugins, um, you know, page manager and sort of these mini panels. And there's this huge amount of flexibility uh, that was in there. You'll also see I've given this one a little score here, and I, there is method to my madness. I will come back uh, to that score at the end, but basically I'm giving Panelizer a 69% score. Um, then the Paragraphs module came along uh, 2014. It was like a um, sort of new on the scene, and of course it's, it's grown to huge prominence. I'm giving it ticks in everything because I do think it addresses um, requirements for themas, site builders, and editors. Um, this is like you know the first real time that you know editors are able to start creating components that they uh, that they would like. I've done the UI. Uh, hmm, it's never really been a great user interface. I, I think we can agree with paragraphs. Um, you know the nesting that you will find in in paragraphs. The, uh, the display and you know the, you're not really getting a what you see, what you get experience with those. So that's, that hasn't been good, that aspect, but pretty much everything else was great. Then Drupal 8 came along, something bad happened. You know, we, we lost a lot of the modules that we knew and loved. Um, speaking from my decisions, like I was starting to use the lightning distribution and it, because it was supporting panels in that very early days. Uh, and it was pushing people to using this system called IPE, which is basically allowing uh, editors to, to move blocks around in the, the front end. 
I'm giving this a very low score, 39%. Uh, even though it was meant to be editor focused, the UI was very complex. It was not stable. It was buggy. It just didn't really work. So I, I felt like, you know, around 2016 just took a huge step back. You know, we had this amazing ecosystem you know, with, with paragraphs and panels in Drupal 7 that took so many years to build up. And then with Drupal 8, we had to learn all of the lessons again. Paragraphs didn't go away. I mean, that, that community was still consistent. There was still uh, relative stability there. One of the other modules I was playing around with at this time was called the Bricks module. Not many people really got into Bricks, um, but Bricks brought layouts to paragraphs. And it basically, you had the, um, the layout plugins that were exposed and Bricks could make use of, use of those. And basically you could put paragraphs into it. It was a really good concept. It brought structure to paragraphs that weren't existing there previously. But as an implementation, I, even though I kind of love the approach of Bricks, I just don't think it was perfect. The, the UI was not really there. And um, uh, you, you know, it was a little bit glitchy uh as well and then of course we had layout builder um ushering in a, a whole new era we had uh, you know when i first saw it at DrupalCon, there was basically oohs and ahs from the audience as people watched in or as you know blocks were dragged around and, and placed into different um regions my contention with layout builder is that it is still a site builder tool. I think it's done a great job at sort of unifying how we do layouts across all the view modes. But in my opinion, I don't think it's ready for editors. And I think the way it's sort of developed over time, it's just feeling incomplete to me. And that, that's a little bit of a shame. That's just my feeling. I just feel it hasn't quite got uh, to, you know, to where it could be. It's still getting a, a very good score though. And what did we do at Morphed? We switched everything from paragraphs to blocks at this time. And so that meant a lot of our components were re-implemented to be blocks to use this new, uh, this new paradigm. But as things would have it, it's just like, well, we moving to blocks, we lost a whole lot of stuff with paragraphs. And then we, you know, we switched back to them. Um, so this is great. We've now got a unified way of doing layouts. We've got the editor focus with paragraphs. It's basically getting ticks. And I, I think, you know, we're back at 78% here on my scoring. I think we've reached a really like a high watermark with uh, the tools that we have uh, available now, but it's not perfect. And that's where the layout paragraphs module uh, is coming in. We've got the, the unity of the layout builder. Um, we've got the flexibility from paragraphs. But the layout paragraphs module gives us a better UI, and we'll be seeing that soon. So I'm calling this double plus good, 81%. I think this is very interesting, and uh, that's why I'm showing it to you tonight. Um, where did all these numbers come from? Uh, there is method to my madness. I think like last week, I just thought, hey, why don't I just make a spreadsheet for this? Um, so across the top, I've got the, all the different paradigms there over the years and, and down the left hand side, hopefully you can see this, um, I have different aspects or um, aspects of the systems, power, stability, theme of control, site builder, flexibility, editor power, editor experience, as well as the health and momentum of those modules or those systems. And I've also weighted them and I've, I've weighted editor experience very highly as well as the editor power and, and site builder flexibility. They're the things I've weighted. And that's basically where I got the scores from. So, you know, you can see the scores down here. I think the funny thing is, is like over the years, we've, we've kind of reached high points, like in 2014 in Drupal 7 with paragraphs, I thought that was, that was a high point. And also in 2019 with, um, you know, paragraphs and layout builder, I, I think that's a, a high point. And the low points, panels, IPE, and you know, it's, it's, it's kind of weird how everything kind of has to be destroyed to, uh, you know, to be made new again. And, and here we are in 2021, I'm really giving it the big sales pitch here, hopefully not too much, but I think um, this layout paragraphs module uh, will change things for the better. So I'm gonna now flip over to a little development site that we've got. 
And uh, I'm not saying this is perfect, guys. It's just a dev site that's, that's not been um, released. Uh, but I will show you the module in action. So I've um, come across, we're just looking at a demo page for different components. Um, you know, we've got different banners, we've got accordions. A lot of this stuff will be familiar to, to you. You know, videos, charts, um, a fast facts block, different lists of things, um, a slideshow, heaven forbid, um, you know, interesting tile layouts, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so we've basically got a number of components on this page that have been built with paragraphs and, you know, layout builder uh, is in, in the back end. I just want to show you what the UI looks like for a complex page like this, right? So we will scroll down here to the components. What we are seeing here is a visual representation of the paragraph, okay? So it's not just like the, that simple little preview that you would get, maybe a title or a, a few little lines. We're actually getting, uh, we're actually getting the, the preview. So um, there is obviously there's a full rendering of that, uh, that component uh, in here. So um, there's been a little bit of trickery behind the scenes to make sure that that theme is working properly here in the admin theme. But essentially, you know, what you see is what you get uh, on this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add uh, some content and we can just sort of see this in action. And of course, this is where the demo <laughs> goes awry. But just say uh, we're just making a little demo page here. We'll skip the body. We'll come to the components. And this is what we're all here to see. So the UI is different. With normally with paragraphs, you'll see like a, hey, add new paragraph and you would select what you want. But here we have an, a new option and a new UI. So firstly, with the UI, you'll notice that there's an icon. So each paragraph bundle has a little icon that you can upload that is a pictorial representation of it. I think you agree that that's just a, a nice uh, incremental improvement. But we have this other special paragraph. So this, the layout is a paragraph, but it's a special one. Uh, and that's at the top and we can select that. So when we select the layout, we then get the options. Now we have defined a set of very simple layouts, not too confusing, no bells and whistles, uh, but just simple options for editors to pick. So you can pick the layout and then it's just a normal paragraph and you can add other stuff into it. So there's a few little doodads that we have at Morph, but I'll just save that. Okay. So what we have now is a layout and you can see we have two regions in here. So this is a proper layout plugin being rendered into the, the page. We've got a 6-6 six, six or a 50-50 kind of situation here. And then we can add content in. So I might just add some, um, some content in here. We'll just call it left and we'll just chuck that in there. Okay, some of the usual stuff, we'll just save that. We have left, you'll see that that is sort of looking as you would expect. And then uh, why don't we just do a little node list in here? So we'll add a node list and we'll call this um, right. So node list is just a, a little component that we use. You guys have probably got something similar. Um, you use it to a fairly similar common pattern. So let's just chuck a test article in here and maybe a test, a test something else. Test person, we'll make them basic cards. And uh, in this case, we will just drop a, this is not a proper layout, it's just a class that we're dropping on there. So you can see here, we've got the node list. Basically, we've got two entity references pointing there. It's displayed in its own little layout. And this is all looking quite nice. We'll just make this, a, to say, a landing page. We'll publish it. We'll see what we get. Uh, so there, there we have um, the left and the right and the, the, uh, the two items. Um, the two items there. Uh, just if you were interested about how you might style that, it's interesting to know that this this component here, whilst it is a um, it is a layout, it is also a paragraph, right? So if we want to put a color palette on that, 
all we're doing here, guys, is just dropping a class onto that paragraph. When that renders out, you didn't get the preview there, but when that renders out, you will get the, um, you know, those classes being uh, dropped on. So we're, we're very much using the paragraph paradigm still to drive all of this, um, but we're getting the, the power of those um, layouts inside. I'll just show you one more thing. Um, it's, it uses a similar paradigm to Layout Builder where you have the concept of different sections or stacks, like a layer cake kind of uh, approach on the design. If we wanted to put another, another layout in here, we can just come in and do that. And let's just say we're going to chuck a three, column, a three column in there and let's just make that a, a dark background and we'll do save. So we've got the three. So I'm just going to just, if you just bear with me, I'm just going to churn out a bit of a bit of content here. You'll see this title field is a is a remnant from the old paragraphs world where we'd always want to have a, a little display um, title. There's really no no need for us to to have that anymore. Um, so yeah, of course we can just keep and coming and creating uh, content here. Sorry to just do that one. So we will just do that. We've got one and two. I'm just going to save that guy. Here we go. We've got one and two different backgrounds. That's that's quite a pleasant experience. And then when we, if we want to come in and sort of change things around, we can grab this little handle here. And <laughs> come on, <laughs> move it into the left. That should be able to do that. Is that working? No. Okay. Yeah, typical. Okay, so we'll move the left down there and then we can move the one back up into, should be able to move the one up into there. Okay. No. Okay, that has not worked so well. So we've got the right, the left. Okay, so what we've moved, we moved that component there. But you can see that we can basically move these things around between different sections. So there we go. So that's just targeted that down there. So we've been able to basically move the sections around. We can move the, um, the components around inside. And um, you can see we've kind of jumbled them. Uh, we've jumbled them up there. You would not be able to do that with paragraphs normally. Normally paragraphs are kind of lists of things. And if you had different sections, that would be uh, you know, a difficult uh, thing to achieve. So that's, that's basically the, the demo in a very quick nutshell there. Um, I'll come back to my presentation. I'll just um, complete that with just with a few, a few ideas. Firstly, paragraphs and layout builder. Obviously I like that. Maybe you don't, maybe you're big fans of Layout Builder and you like working with blocks and layouts. And I, I think that's ex acceptable approach as well. I'd love to hear your thoughts if, if you think that is uh, superior. Um, paragraphs, a nice solution, they're not perfect. They do have um, problems and really the editor experience was bad with them. Um, I think Layout Builder, had promise, it still does have promise, but I think at the moment it's unfulfilled. And I think the main question we have to think about there is who is layout, what is layout, who is layout builder for, editors or site builders? At the moment, I think it's more for site builders rather than an editor tool. I'd be interested to hear if you've uh, had success um, otherwise. Um, layout paragraphs does bridge the gap. And it provides a UI which is good and reliable. I, I don't necessarily think it's perfect, but I think it's like just leaps and bounds ahead of um, uh, you know what we have there. And it does bring that extra flexibility of, of bringing layouts uh, into the Node uh, edit screen. Yeah, so that's it. Thank you very much.